Hello, this is Talia Andrews and welcome to the UK edition of TDTV. UK passenger arrivals to the USA have fallen according to the US Department of Commerce. While more than 40 million international visitors travelled to the United States for the first eight months of 2010, the figure from the UK was one of only three countries to register a decline. In total, the country saw a 12% increase over the same period in 2009. FlyB has launched three new routes from Southampton for summer next year. The airline will now fly to Bazir, Clermont Ferrand, and Pau in France from May to September, with prices starting from £39.99 one way. Mike Rutter, Chief Commercial Officer at FlyB, said the routes would further position Southampton as the most convenient gateway into the south of England from France. In other news, two-thirds of British guests on board Allure of the Seas are opting for top-range accommodation. According to Royal Caribbean's latest sales figures, its balcony and suite cabins have been popular in the UK market. Dominic Paul, the cruise company's UK and Ireland Vice President and Managing Director, said it was benefiting from customer loyalty despite post-recession financial worries in the UK. Meanwhile, Choice Hotels International has announced that Air Berlin is to become the latest partner for its rewards program. The new partnership will allow top bonus members to earn 500 top bonus award miles per stay at all participating Choice brand properties. Members of the Choice Privileges Rewards program will also be able to redeem 5,000 points for 1,000 top bonus award miles. And finally, in today's news, the yachts of Seaburn have appointed a new head of sales to increase the cruise line's trade awareness. Paul Beale is expected to take a hands-on approach with travel agents and broaden Seaburn's distribution. The news comes after a 250% capacity increase for the cruise line following the introduction of Odyssey, Surgeon and Quest. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on the UK edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.